we have the first uh, positive randomized phase three trial in head and neck cancer in uh, over a decade. Uh, the Checkmate uh, 141 trial uh, presented data using the anti-PD-1 uh, monoclonal antibody nivolumab, uh, which was compared uh, in a randomized fashion with a two-to-one randomization in favor of nivolumab against uh, standard of care, uh, investigator's choice, single agent uh, chemotherapy. Uh, in the comparison arm, patients uh, could get either cetuximab or uh, methotrexate or docetaxel. Um, and so uh, this is uh, a setting of disease where there really are no effective systemic agents. Uh, and so uh, creating a new standard of care has been evasive uh, uh, and difficult for this uh, population of patients with very rapid progression. The 141 trial had one of the major eligibility criteria uh, that patients had to progress within six months of uh, platinum-based therapy. That could be in the locally advanced or the recurrent metastatic setting. So uh, some patients, some uh, physicians look at the Checkmate 141 study as a second line trial, but really it's better perceived as a uh, platinum refractory population. And whether that's in uh, the first line or the second line uh, or, or in the third line, uh, at some point they had to progress within six months of uh, platinum therapy. That selects for a very rapid progressing group of patients for whom we have no effective therapies. So an overall survival benefit, which was the primary endpoint of this study, uh, to have that met, uh, and in fact the power at the time uh, the, the code was broken and the Data Safety Monitoring Committee met, there were more events than the requirement uh, previously set forth for the interim uh, analysis. Uh, more events and therefore greater power uh, and the conclusions to stop the study early uh, were even more prominent. Uh, and so this permitted patients to have access and have crossover because of the overall survival benefit. A hazard ratio of uh, 0.70 indicates a 30% reduction uh, in risk of death 